Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, inviting me at um, uh, this wonderful Amateo Restart uh, conference. Um, I'm, I'm uh, Piotr Michałowski from, from Poland, uh, from the city of uh, uh, Wrocław. This is my, my hometown, which was the European capital of culture in 2016, so already five years ago. Um, I am um, uh, a cultural manager. Uh, I finished uh, cultural studies, musicology, um, and cultural diplomacy, but also I am a musician, the, the guitar here. Uh, it's, 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 it's uh, saying that I, I, I finished the jazz school and uh, I wanted just to say that um, I cannot and could not be joining you uh, in Milan, which is really a, a pity and a shame. But at the same time, I'm also south in Europe, I'm in uh, Thessaloniki, Greece, uh, for the Iportunus Creative Europe um, uh, Artist uh, Mobility, Artist Residency Program. Um, with the fantastic uh, NGO um, uh, at Art, which is organizing uh, the Saloniki Animation Festival. And I'm here to compose music for their latest uh, video. I will tell about that in a second in my presentation. So uh, today we'll be speaking about um, territorial development based on culture and uh, how we could be um, uh, trying to um, shape our local strategies in the, in the more cohesive way in order to, to um, address some of the key uh, priorities of, I would, um, let's say, risk to say all communities, not only in Europe, but globally, that they need to be connected to each other. They need to be connected to, to, to the big cities, the, the capitals of the regions. But this has to be done in, the, let's say, quite democratic, horizontal, and, and, and very uh, supportive one another way, not in the manner that the city takes it all, and the, let's say, region is left somewhere uh, aside. And uh, my, my experiences on, on, on that topic um, um, have started already um, quite Many years ago, I was uh, joining the NGO's uh, artistic, uh, theatrical, uh, musical already more than 20 years ago. And uh, for more than 10 years, I was working outside the city in the uh, rural communities, in the, in the rural areas, um, all around the, 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 the city of Wrocław. And those experiences were, were kind of crucial uh, to um, uh, to, to, to share some of the, 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 the real insights, I was also checking at this a, a bit laboratory-based um, um, proceedings um, and, and projects we have been implementing. So please uh, allow me to share a screen and um, to, uh, to show you um, some slides with, with some examples. Um, and uh, I, I, th I think that um, we might be then... Uh, just, just please tell me if, if the full screen um, mode is on, if, if, thank you, thank you. So, um, uh, so, so here uh, today, uh, I, I, I have um, noted down the question how art can take part in order to create a more sustainable, participatory, decentralized and self-sufficient local communities. Um, so, um, to begin with, to begin with, um, um, as I mentioned already a uh, few minutes ago, I'm here in Thessaloniki um, making this Iportunus uh, Creative Europe um, uh, scholarship uh, residency program. So just to excuse myself that I cannot be in Milan. And uh, this is um, a fantastic co-production between Iran, Thailand, and Greece. The film is based on David Attenborough, uh, BBC Earth uh, series. And why I'm saying that? Because it's so much related to sustainable development, zero waste policies, and circular economy. David Attenborough filmed uh, a few years ago, uh, little crabs that they are trading their shells in the most strangest way, because when they are growing bigger, 
the bigger crabs, they do not anymore need the smaller shells. And this is a bit like a market and they are trading them between each other. So there is no waste in, 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 in that circle of crabs. And, and really each crab is, is, is in need for finding a, a shell because the sun is so uh, warm that they will burn if would not have that protection. So um, and this, this project was, 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 was chosen and it's so much uh, related to Green Deal and all the debates we have. And, 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 and this is also a great example how nature supports us and can teach us a lot. Just we have to focus on learning, listening, and not only to, pro to production of, 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 of all the time, any kind of data and everything. So uh, just, to, just to follow. Um, uh, um, I'm a board member of the European Network of Cultural Centers, ENCC, actually, uh, since July, also a, a, a vice chairman uh, of the organization. And um, uh, just a brief introduction, ENCC, like Amateo, is one of the networks supported by the um, uh, Creative Europe um, uh, programme. I mean, we just finished in August our four years uh, action plan. We hope to be re-supported uh, in the next um, uh, selection um, around uh, we have applied already so um, so crossing fingers for 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 amateo uh, too on that very strongly we have been organizing actually a conference together in cracovy in 2015 based on the audience development uh, with uh, uh, with alet um, uh, at the, at that time uh, so uh, our connections are very very strong uh, and uh, we as the ncc also focus a lot on the, uh, the social culture and on amateur arts as amateur so, uh, so we, we, we coincide on, on many points. So just in order not to over talk you, but just to say that the NCC is providing uh, uh, know-how um, exchanges on the level of um, um, diversity, um, territorial development, several other topics, uh, uh, including uh, gaining competences of local leaders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We as well organize conferences, as well organize meetings. We uh, publish toolkits on networking, on creating networks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But also, we have been uh, implementing for the first time uh, in this year uh, our our pilot initiative called UpGrants, um, which is on that slide. And this is uh, a new way, in my opinion, of redistribution of small funds in the cultural uh, sector, um, because now the Creative Europe decided that um, small cascading grants are going to be eligible fully uh, in, 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 in the next uh, PPA, uh, meaning that uh, we as networks would be able to re-grant some small amounts of money to um, local organizations all around Europe in order to create a local, let's say, sustainable uh, development uh, projects. Our up grants was, was, was called SOS, but not save our souls was the meaning, but seeds of sustainability. So uh, we, we have been uh, making a bit of a, a, a word game with, with, with that uh, sentence, uh, but uh, we're able to support with uh, 3000 euro, five fantastic uh, projects from, from, um, from Europe, from many countries uh, that applied. We have chosen uh, by the, an experts panel and uh, the popular vote, uh, five of them, and we have published all 45 on our website to, to learn from. So um, ENCC, yes, has got um, around 60, more, more over 60 members, but um, the, the basic communication we have with over 5,000 organizations in Europe, and uh, we are taking part in, in most of the uh, debates uh, related to culture and arts in Europe, for example, um, Voice of Culture, of course, and uh, we have been joining uh, recently um, the strand dedicated to the uh, role of culture in non-urban areas uh, very actively, and also the artists who work in condition just finalized um, in the first half of, of, I'm sorry, of this year. 
and uh, uh, immediately I, I'm showing above, uh, below um, the information about Wrocław and Wrocław uh, is organizing um, uh, several programs to support uh, artists. For example, one of is the scholarship program. I will be speaking a bit more about that uh, after. Um, uh, and, 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 and two more activities that I would like to mention. Uh, one is uh, a special program dedicated to the COVID-19 aftermath. Um, uh, the city has decided to uh, organize kind of an interventional purchase of the the uh, the art pieces, let's say the paintings from 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 the artists uh, who were not able to either sell, either present. All galleries were closed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So so city de dedicated this kind of a, a special programming, a bit a bit inspired by. Uh, programmes of the EU when the farmers are losing their, uh, let's say, uh, possibilities to, to sell or there, there, there are kind of a floods or, or, um, or any other uh, nature disasters, European Union is, is co-financing this gap. And so uh, CD decided to make this kind of a, um, uh, approach uh, and, 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 and proceed with, 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 uh, with, with, with that purchase, uh, but for uh, fine artists. Um, uh, I was speaking about the upscale. I, would, I, I will not go into detail because uh, this, this might be um, something to, to, to read after. So on our website, the ncc.eu, uh, you might to find uh, at any time um, all uh, the information and, and, and all to, to, to learn from. Uh, so so um, I just encourage everybody to, uh, to, 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 to scroll and to, to, to Google it um, after, afterwards. But, but what is important for our debate today uh, and our workshops and our, uh, let's say, um, um, a kind of a focus is that ENCC has established um, um, already uh, five years ago a working group dedicated to non-urban areas, dedicated to territorial development. It was precisely when uh, Wrocław was the European capital of culture uh, in 2016, uh, and meaning uh, we have been organizing a conference in, in the rural areas uh, of, of, the, uh, of, the, um, of the region. Uh, and we have we have gathered uh, several 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 um, 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 European um, uh, uh, let's say stakeholders and peers from 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 several countries, and by the open space methods of um, of, of debating of interacting, uh, we have been creating um, a base let's say a fundament for the ENCC crowdsource manifesto which was published then uh, in 2020, so one year ago, right before the COVID came on stage. Uh, I, I mean, or, or it was immediately when it came, so we were not able to travel to Brussels. We, we have organized the, the launching of the document online. But for all those years, uh, we have gathered, uh, let's say, more than 200 uh, stakeholders and, and experts who gave us uh, their know-how, their expertise, and their, uh, let's say, uh, ideas to the manifesto from 23 European countries, which was like a very nice um, number to, to achieve. And also it was justifying uh, what we wanted to say, meaning that we have been collecting grassroots uh, recommendations from the very local level of several countries. And we were able then to edit them to, to blend them in one document, which I will show you um, in, in, in a few moments, um, in order to then uh, create this important lobby on the level of uh, European Union, but at the same time on the level of uh, member states. So um, promoting uh, very important solutions and recommendations um, on, on, let's say, um, that auditorium. Uh, so I was mentioning city of Wrocław, uh, um, which uh, is located in southwest of Poland, uh, approximately 700,000 inhabitants. 
And uh, I'm, I was just now saying about this conference that took place in 2016, uh, Culture for Smart, um, Innovative and Shared uh, Territories. Uh, and you might see some photos that I will share in, um, in, in the larger format in, 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 a, in a bit, but um, just to show you exactly that process. So uh, um, uh, we have been um, identifying uh, let's say several um, key topics uh, to, to address, uh, discuss them, then rediscuss them online. And after uh, four years time, uh, we have been able, to, this was a draft uh, document. Um, then we, we were able to, to, to launch a, a, a real-time um, a real-time manifesto in March uh, 2020. So, so these are just the slides uh, from from that work in progress, and you can see the uh, the auditorium at the at the big sport, um, uh, let's say uh, gymnastic um, uh, hall, um, uh, but located in the very uh, rural areas of the Lower Silesia in a very small um, village. From one of the projects, we were able to construct that. Uh, very modern, um, uh, let's say, hall, but uh, but the surrounding was was purely uh, uh, agricultural. Uh, so uh, we have been identifying, um, and I will not go so much into details because uh, this is also a document I would like to uh, later on share with you uh, in the in the chat box. I will I will send a link uh, to at least three documents in order uh, afterwards you might be able to 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 really dig into into that um, uh, precisely so um, uh, one of uh, the, the the focuses was of course education uh, participation inclusion um, innovation um, uh, all the elements that are let's say uh, like 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 essential uh, and um, they, they 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 should be uh, uh, rediscussed. Uh, but of course, uh, we have been giving a special focus to to arts um, because um, this is what 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 differs us, what 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 makes us unique in in the arts and culture sector that we do not only use uh, debates or uh, gatherings, auditoriums, in order to, to enable um, a, a process of change or a process, a learning process, but we also use art. And I would not say even also, we use art as one of the, our main, uh, let's say, um, uh, targets. Uh, because and it's 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 just so much repeated from conference to conference that w w whenever I'm 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 somewhere uh, among very inspiring speakers, it's it's always uh, uh, it is always repeated that uh, the artist and artistic intervention in any community can create uh, a completely surprising uh, aftermath and effect and cannot be compared to any other, um, let's say, um, uh, element of uh, cultural management or project base uh, research, et cetera. So, so the, the art, as we um, wrote it here, uh, uh, um, the support art, it should be essential to support as a, a trigger for social change uh, by, um, uh, dedicated uh, funding programs with a special focus on community arts and artists. Uh, of course, support uh, freedom of artistic expression, um, uh, promote the value of art and culture in connection with the mental and physical health and well-being, or promoting arts uh, as a way to keep uh, renegotiating, experimenting and renewing our identity and future aspirations as individuals and communities. Uh, so uh, art is playing an incredibly important role in, 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 in that mm, process. And um, uh, in, in, in um, next slides, I will be sharing with you 
some examples, some concrete examples of uh, uh, projects or initiatives that we have been implementing uh, in, um, in, in, in the past uh, in, in, in those communities that I have mentioned uh, in which I was, I was uh, um, working um, uh, as, as a manager uh, in, in, in the cultural house um, in order to also prove uh, that this is completely uh, essential. Uh, so um, the second document that was launched in 2020 in March and was uh, already um, co-created by four networks, uh, Culture Action Europe, uh, ENCC, uh, ITM and Trans Europe Holds was called Beyond the Urban, uh, Contemporary Arts and Culture in Non-Urban Areas as a Key to a Sustainable and Cohesive Europe. So at the same meeting, we have been uh, publishing those two documents uh, because we wanted to also create a stronger impact uh, at that time. And also we, we have been um, um, identifying that at the same time, uh, the other European networks are having the same focus, meaning that they would like to uh, really uh, support territorial development and uh, they would like to really uh, say something important about the rural areas, but all, uh, let's say, with, 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 the common, uh, with the common framework of, of, of culture and arts. So not just somewhere, somehow, and, 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 and to be organized in um, whichever way, but uh, where culture and arts uh, are a platform for the territorial development. So um, also this document I will share with you uh, as a link in order to, to learn from or to just revise if this is true or false. And also um, it was a special moment because uh, when pandemic just exploded uh, and we had so many recommendations from pre-pandemic times, one year after, so uh, let's say it was uh, June 2021, so a so few months ago, four months ago, we have organized a webinar as the NCC in order to check uh, which of the recommendations were, let's say, really um, uh, uh, everlasting or are everlasting and which they are, they are changing or, or pandemic changed everything. And... Uh, uh, the, the keynote speaker, uh, Beate Kegler of yesterday, uh, I mean, she was, of course, a part of this webinar and we, we know each other since so many years and have been supporting one another. And Beate was in Wrocław and in, uh, in the rural areas in 2016 uh, for the start of, of our working group. And then we joined the Hildesheim conference in, 20, in 2017 um, to continue the process. So uh, I'm just showing you how all its linked uh, and, and the researchers are still um, having this uh, very important focus and are trying to update one another um, on the, the latest, let's say, trends and, and um, ways of proceedings, uh, because this is very much changing. Uh, and uh, rural areas and culture was at stake um, during COVID times, and uh, we have been completely overwhelmed by the digital formatting. And um, what were the recommendations also afterwards? Uh, so in June, when we discussed this year, that we should really try to, um, to do whatever in our powers in order to come back to the uh, remote ways. I mean, not remote, sorry, the, the opposite, uh, the, 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 the natural, the vintage way of uh, meeting in real time on having assemblies on, on really creating this ambience, of course, uh, safe and with all the COVID measures, but um, not to forget that this is so essential to human beings to be together and to then after having a real time meeting, great initiatives might emerge. And this is, this is really something um, I would say, uh, completely not to be uh, substituted by anything. So um, just to, to have that in mind. And as well, I will not try to now uh, focus in details on, on, on the document uh, um, itself because it, it, it might take 
too much of, of, of our time. Mm, uh, maybe more on uh, just what we wrote uh, about that we are convinced that contemporary culture and arts and non-urban area and non-urban environments must be appreciated and supported because, and, and, and this is like repeated in all the documents that culture and arts foster social cohesion and inclusion as well as active citizen participation. And this is particularly relevant in socially and po politically isolated areas. We have been uh, having a small chat uh, before uh, we were uh, online. And uh, I was saying that networking uh, to me has got many definitions, but one off is counteracting isolation is something completely essential also that um, by learning that there are other peers in, in, in Europe or in other continents that they have relevant, almost same problems and they found the solution A and maybe the other one have found the solution C. And we might be having then afterwards when we learn about their existence, a bit of a whole alphabet, yes. So from 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 A to Z or from alpha to omega, I would say that we might be having a, a great catalog uh, of responses to problems, to uh, challenges, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Meaning that um, it's 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 something that we we have to we have to always fight for, not to be isolated somewhere and, and, and the networking is, is enabling us to, uh, to, to, to have it and to, um, to proceed and to develop. Um, so uh, coming back, I'm willing to show a few slides. Some of them are very funny uh, from the village community. I have been working in um, for, for uh, like, uh, like 10 years and um, it's, uh, it's also a, a huge challenge uh, to be um, like a paratrooper uh, from the, the city to another community completely unknown. Uh, the challenge is to, um, to create a balance between uh, sustaining what was um, already there, uh, meaning the heritage, meaning the tradition, meaning all the aspects of uh, the um, intangible heritage, uh, memories, and to, 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 to be careful about that, but at the same time, to create a bit of a, uh, like we, we call in, 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 in jazz, also after uh, John, John Coltrane, the upper structure. So to create an upper structure on that, uh, meaning that uh, we are having a, a, a nice, uh, let's say, a, a, um, uh, nice trajectories with, 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 with our ship, uh, it's, it's going into good direction, but we just need to make some, some small corrections in order to be updated, in order to be uh, quite modernized with what, we, with what we do and to learn also from, 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 from one another. So uh, what, it, what was very, very important for, for us at that time was the vanishing memory and um, uh, the stories and the songs that were uh, um, uh, threatened by, uh, let's say, uh, the, the time um, which as passing was taking uh, too many of our uh, fantastic elders uh, who were able to, to teach us a lot. So by Grundvig program, which never exists anymore, we have been organizing a, a, a lot of programmes for seniors in order for, to encourage them that, that they are the masters of tradition and, and, and we are the pupils, we, we learn. And we learn, we want to learn from them uh, to, to, to sing the, the songs that they were never recorded. They are only in their heads. And this is like, as I said, the vanishing tradition. Uh, and this has caused uh, us, uh, not caused, uh, this, this, this gave an aftermath of a fantastic um, uh, project with 11 countries uh, dedicated to biographical narratives about the Second World War and the other conflicts in Europe, um, but uh, always uh, with this artistic approach that we do not only um, uh, share memories, but we share something that has this artistic, uh, let's say, value and has got this spirit of 
uh, engaging more and more generations into um, into the project. So um, so this is one of the examples that then afterwards led us to uh, be creating um, very interesting projects, uh, uh, recording professional CDs with uh, with those uh, senior citizens who are uh, capable to 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 have in their memory just just fantastic pieces of 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 never uh, uh, recorded music uh, with, with 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 fantastic words etc cetera, etc cetera. and um, this this project became quite quite famous towards Europe and um, we're able to then encourage many more communities in our uh, let's say um, geographical uh, circles to create likewise projects because uh, in, maybe we can say, ah, it's obvious, but, but, but when we were doing that um, like 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago, uh, for many communities, it was not so obvious that they, as for example, cultural centers, um, they should do something about that. Because uh, um, it, for example, in Poland, in, 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 in the past um, uh, system, we, we had um, the ethnomusicologists coming to several villages and organizing themselves, let's say the recordings, et cetera, et cetera. But, but then after um, we changed the, the, the system into capitalism and this was not continued at all. There were no funds for, for, for such uh, proceedings. And, and we wanted to encourage local cultural centers to, um, to take uh, their own responsibility on their own resources and their own vanishing, uh, let's say, resources, uh, because they have everything what they need. They just need to have a recorder, uh, etc. nothing special. Um, and they might be doing really a huge positive impact on the communities by, by that. So, so this was like a first example. And of course, the, the, the old photos and, and all the stories that were leading to then just incredible interactions between youngsters and, 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 and seniors. And we have been creating then films also um, about very um, uh, inspiring stories told by, by senior citizens. So it created a bit of a snowball effect in that community. And as I was telling you in also the other communities that were like a bit looking at that and saying, oh, if this was then successful there, why not we be just doing that? And, and this is so easy, uh, but we just never uh, were thinking about that. So, um, so, so this know-how uh, also we have been learning from, from uh, other European partners was, was quite, quite um, essential to be building something sustainable. And this has continued uh, till, till now, this, this kind of approach in that community of Olesnica, which, and this slide I'm showing, uh, had, um, had its uh, strategy of development uh, created for 2011 and 2015, uh, but in full participation with uh, uh, local leaders or emerging leaders. So we have created the kind of a uh, round table, uh, a lot of workshops in order really to respond to the needs and to find the potentials to make a, 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 a let's say essential mapping on um, resources because without that we are never able in my opinion to really shape uh, a good programmes projects etc in, in order to 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 really be efficient as a manager of any cultural initiative center ngo etc without knowing let's say your people and your uh, surrounding uh, we have uh, there um, a network of 23 village assembly halls but it, it was a network just by the by the name it was never um, a kind of a organism that was cooperating with with one another and uh, uh, I think uh, one or two years ago I heard a metaphor uh, about the city of Wrocław about which I will be telling afterwards um, which the city also has got um, some kind of a culture, um, let's say local activity centers. And the metaphor was that we have like a train stations in several places, but we don't have a train tracks. 
meaning we cannot we cannot go from one station to another uh, and uh, okay only by other means but but this is a train station so we should have the train tracks and this metaphor I really liked because um, it opens uh, I mean everything I mean all is clear after that so we we wanted to uh, uh, in that village community to create this kind of a platform between those um, local animators and, and local group of initiatives uh, because the, the, the problems were many and one of the most important problem was that the people didn't know each other at all, there was no integration between those local leaders and, and some people they never put their feet even on the other village, meaning that they were going just with a car passing, they were when uh, having like a weekend or holidays somewhere very far to the sea or to the mountains etc, but they, they were never interested if there is any interesting monument or heritage or anything in the other village. So my universal was, let's say, only here where I live and the, and the outside was like barbaric territory. This, 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 this comes from, 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 of course, the, 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 the cultural narration um uh, from cultural studies but 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 this was so true so uh, uh after that we have been creating uh projects completely decentralizing the the model and um investing in mobility uh what you see here is the bread oven but attached as a trailer to the car uh this was made on our special demand let's say special order by one project from Ministry of Culture that we got funds. And um, we learned from Bulgaria, from uh, Bread Houses Network, um, uh, the model of creating the bread houses, but we were um, not able to, um, to create like a, a, a one place for the community, which has got a very, let's say, a bad transportation, bus transportation between one village to another. So we were deciding, discussing, sorry, um, that we have to make a tailor-made solution on that. And this was a very interesting uh, situation. Uh, this uh, bread oven does not need any electricity. It's uh, organized uh, on the very vintage way that you put uh, a wood inside and you just, 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 just burn uh, the wood. Uh, there is a fire uh, um, below and, and you, you might have this as a format of food trucks or something that they are coming from from one place to another but but this is more let's say occasionally or commercial we were providing for free those workshops of preparing um, bread uh, intergenerationally in all the villages so and there was no uh, problem of mobility for the inhabitants because the mobility was let's say enclosed in the idea of this wandering bread oven uh, so it was also a solution to problems we have identified but uh, the uh, creating bread is is such an essential uh let's say human proceeding uh, i mean we all eat bread and uh it, it's 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 just um something to sometimes very obvious but when we prepare it together ah there is a another meaning to that there is a bonding there is an integration and there is a special, let's say, um, uh, situation uh, in which, um, uh, in which we, we might be then uh, having a bit of the uh, fundament for something more, meaning for more cemented uh, community. And uh, the other uh, element of that project was, of course, the pottery and um, this is this is also a, a quite 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 obvious for, for for several communities. But what was unique it was in our case that we have been coming with uh, both workshops at the same time, and we also bought um, this um, pottery uh, oven, that the pottery furnace um, uh, heated by by the gas, so no electricity at all needed. And after one day of workshops. Uh, um, the local inhabitants were able to see the results of the, the pottery workshops, so to have 
those artifacts and to take them home and to to eat together the bread that was was baked uh, by by themselves so um so 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 this format was 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 really uh, uh very inspiring also for for other communities and uh and, and in our case uh was 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 kind of shaped exactly to 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 the needs you can see the hands of uh, the the kids um, uh, playing with the with the flower um also uh, when i was uh, in, in veliko tarnovo in bulgaria uh, we were um, doing some kind of a, a, a storytelling based on uh, characters we were uh, shaping in the flower uh, it was it was also amazing the evening small lights and this kind of a um, story that was was going uh, clockwise in, with with the round table with all the with all the participants and they were let's say creating part of a story and then another person was continuing the story and then another person was continuing the story so um, I would say it was it was just just a great uh, interactive and integrational um, manner to use also culture, imagination, and sensitivity, um, artistic expression in order to, again, create this kind of a important bonding um, with, uh, with other people, just essentially. Uh, and uh, so, so this is just a great, uh, great format. And another example uh, to share, uh, it was uh, a chamber of memories that, uh, um, was also based on the ideas, desires, and needs of the community. Uh, people were having so many in their houses, uh, I'm sorry, um, the old uh, furniture, uh, some uh, memory, uh, some, some small souvenirs, some, some small gadgets, etc. cetera. Uh, a lot of them were brought from the Eastern borderlands after 1945, when there was this disaster of changing the border between the uh, Ukraine, Poland and Germany and uh, people were, were in exodus in, from, from the west part, the Germans had to move to Germany, Poles were moved from the eastern borderlands to move to the former German territories and Ukrainians were moved from their east Ukraine territories to west Ukraine, kind of a complete mess in the on the level of identity, on the level of um, all problems that it caused, uh, and but 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 those stories were not so much told or recorded in the past with the past system. So uh, this was one of the the only and the last moments and possibilities in order to somehow um, give them the second life, both to to those to those pieces to those, those elements those scattered pieces and to uh, humans to, to to persons to to people who came from 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 there with, with incredible um, memories eyewitnessing uh, several uh, either um, uh, tremendous or or, or, or or scaring stories and uh, by the involvement of the young generation also in the project we have been immediately having the intergenerational uh, effect so uh, so youngsters were filming their um, grandparents and immediately asking the questions that they were never asked most probably in their homes before because there were there was never any format for for that kind of talks so um this is also um uh, quite uh, quite essential to create since we we use those those vocabulary uh, vocabularies of art and culture to use this kind of a space uh, for, for 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 the meeting um, space in many cases somewhere in the village like in the village assembly hall and in that village we also have had uh, and we still have a bread oven but the permanent one so it's the second one and there is a possibility to have like a permanent uh, 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 cuisine workshops, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
One another example uh, coming from the village community. It was um, uh, one of the, 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 the cheapest projects I have ever implemented. I think the, the one, uh, the, the uh, painting of a one bus stop uh, was um, around 150 euros. Um, it was only uh, uh, spent on the, on the paint, a um, um, few colors of paint. Uh, it was a desire of one village, and we have been implementing a Swiss contribution uh, a programming. There, 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 there is this kind of a fund uh, for countries like, like Poland to, um, to boost uh, uh, a, a local development, let's say. And uh, in one village, there was this uh, need to renovate the, the very demolished bus stop. And we see that in, in, in several countries in, in Europe, not only, that the bus stops in, in, in many places are just demolished, devastated, and nobody takes care about them. And maybe we can sign some petition to local council authority. Ah, but the, the reason in many cases is very poor. So in our case, in the one village, uh, youngsters decided that this is the way that they would like to spend this, this, this uh, huge amount of money 150 euros, but it was one of the best investments I have seen in the in, in, in the past years, because they have um, involved uh, um, the other generations, meaning uh, the, 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 the older youngsters uh, and the, the adults, and they have distributed tasks. So the adults, uh, especially men, they were like making those kind of, uh, uh, you know, like uh, 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 small construction works on renovations. So, uh, and they bought materials themselves. They said, oh, or, or they had from homes because they are making those kind of repairments and et cetera. And then the, 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 the older youngsters, they were, uh, um, accompanied by the visual artist uh, who was, um, uh, let's say, hi hired by the community, um, by the community cultural center. Uh, they were creating a, a sketch, a project, uh, a visual project, what will be there, um, let's say, painted. And then with, with, with the pencils, they were drawing those, um, those, those, those shapes on the bus stops. And then all the generations, especially then the youngsters and, 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 and pupils, even toddlers, were, 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 were taking those, those, those brushes, those paints, and were, um, uh, were, were painting. So um, this first bus stop uh, was, um, was kind of a, it was not only a success on the artistic level, but it was a success on the level of uh, um, audience development and also on the level of how the other villages from our community uh, envied that. They were jealous on, on such a realization. And they said like, oh, they have such a nice bus stop. Uh, do one for us also. Uh, so, and, and, and we said, it's, it's, it's the other way around. We could be supporting you with this small budget, but the work should be really on you, meaning uh, that this essential, um, uh, let's say, um, uh, level of um, involvement must be included because then this will be yours bus stop, not somebody else's and not made by any construction company or et cetera, et cetera, but this will be something that belongs to you. And, and, and believe me or not, but in, in, in three years time, I be something, three to four years time, um, when I finished my employment there and I moved to, to Wrocław again, um, to cultural department of the municipality, uh, we have had like uh, 17 bus stops in the several, uh, I'm sorry, villages. And they were all different because uh, there were, um, let's say local debates uh, everywhere and they all wanted to have different uh, bus stops. And um, none of them, none of those bus stops were demolished or, I don't know, uh, painted with spray or something like that. I mean, people really 
took the responsibility on, on, on them and have, have decided that, uh, oh, it's ours, it's, it's made by us, so we protect that. And, and, and there was not even an idea to, 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 to just make, make um, something, something, something bad with them. Uh, this would be stupid then. Yes, because uh, if it's ours, we do not demolish something which belongs uh, to us. So, um, so this project also on many levels showed how, uh, how huge power um, is inside of us, but needs to be awakened in many cases in a, in a good way um, in order to create something very uh, inspiring, sustainable and something um, that will inspire many other communities because we have been showing that on, on, on some conferences, etc. And then we heard about the other um, places, other localities willing to um, just uh, invest on, on, on that. And you might see a small map. Uh, it's, it's not a completed map, but you can see a small map of those bus stops. So by, by the colorful uh, bus stops project, uh, uh, this small community, which uh, does not have any special heritage, uh, and there is a beautiful nature, that's for sure, but became uh, famous and popular because it had something unique. And this is also what I encourage everybody to, to, to search for, to search for uh, their own identity and to search for their own project uh, that will define them uh, in a way. And uh, we have been granted uh, by one of the 12 best audience development projects in, in Europe in 2018. Um, there was a small film uh, based on that. And this is uh, the report of uh, Economia Creativa from, from Spain, uh, supported by EU, um, showing that, um, that, 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 that project inside, inside the uh, report published uh, in March uh, uh, 2018. And the second project, which was included in that report, was um, intergenerational theater with uh, non-professional actors, let's say farmers, inhabitants, uh, from the kids uh, of, um, aged uh, seven, uh, two seniors uh, aged 77. So we have had this, this, this huge, huge, huge uh, mm, uh, frequency of, of ages uh, in Uh, and I love culture. Yes, it was. Um, it was uh, during the conference we have organized in 2016. We have been all baking breads with participants from several countries, and this is what they also baked together, like uh, a conclusion to 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 to, to our debates. Um, I would like now to uh, switch to the city uh, and to show you. And to show you the, the connections, just, just for a second, I'll a bit of the water. Um, and to show you the, 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 the connection between um, the urbanity and non-urban areas, the similarities, and also a very alike uh, desires and needs. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is only one one slide here, uh, and I will explain that. Uh, this is Warsaw, um, and in the in, in the Polish capital, uh, there is an ongoing format called uh, cultural cooperative, uh, um, and this cultural cooperative it's like completely grassrooted um, um, established group, which is supporting one another on the level of uh, exchanging uh, resources, exchanging um, uh, cultural premises, but also something essential like chairs, something essential like, I don't know, uh, PA system, amplification, any anything that, that might 
um, that might be useful for the other cultural center or beamers or projectors, etc. But so so they have created this kind of a bank of um, of items of uh, something very um, uh, very practical, and they are sharing that on, on the on, on the website. So it's more or less like all those portals of exchanging goods, but exchanging for money, etc. In, in that case, uh, those elements are, 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 are offered for free. Uh, so uh, there is no need to be uh, spending any, any money on that. But just the, the idea is that you can, you or the ones, I'm sorry, the one can use any of the other cultural organization, uh, let's say items or tools, uh, uh, but he himself, this or this uh, organization itself, should also offer something. So it has to be an exchange. It has to be a situation in which um, we are equally involved uh, and fully involved in, into that um, into that process. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm sharing this, and uh, at the end of my presentation, it will be. Uh, clear why this example was was important also because in Wrocław there is a and now a special group uh, dedicated to that but but let me uh, let me follow the pre presentation with 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 few more examples and I'm I'm, I'm showing you um, the, the slides uh, the two, two let's say one slide with two topics the the the, 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 the bottom one is um, the scholarship programming uh, mentioned already in the beginning, and the scholarship program is also providing uh, possibilities for um, artists um, without any age limit. They should only be 18 years old and plus uh, to implement for a one year or a half a year their artistic project uh, based in Wrocław or related to the Wrocław history, heritage, art scene, etc. With in the, in the se several uh, categories like film, literature, music, uh, fine arts, of course, theater, um, promotion of culture, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So those artists are receiving uh, a, a proper funds to be then uh, implementing, and they are um, just those those projects are, are incredible. Uh, completely, this program is is uh, ongoing since two years time. And uh, we are now having like over 120 artists that, mm, that finalized this, 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 this project. And um, it's, it's, it's something very important as a format. And we have been including that also in the uh, latest uh, Voice of Culture report as one of the important practices for any other municipalities on the smaller or bigger scale in order to uh, to, to provide this kind of uh, artistic scholarships. And on the upper uh, part of the slide, mm, you see the Culture Congress in Wrocław that took place in December 2020. Why this was a unique Congress, we all organize cultural con con congresses. But European Capital of Culture, Wrocław 2016, had very important recommendations. One of the recommendations was decentralization. So, uh, and I will speak about that uh, a bit later on. And the second aspect was that we cannot proceed any longer with a situation that um, the cultural policy, let's say, is uh, implemented only by the cultural department division. And there is not any other civic board advisory board for culture that would support uh, uh, decision uh, taking and making process and all the debates uh, on, 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 on the budget wise spending uh, funds, etc, etc. So in Poland, in, in few cities, uh, those kind of uh, civic advisory boards for culture exist. But Wrocław uh, had a bit of an avant-garde and innovative idea that um, uh, we decided uh, with, with, with our social partners, with the city activists, that we'll have like a 15 member council and the majority of eight seats, it's going to be given to the, the social partner, but the mayor of the city will not decide 
who will be uh, the representative of the social uh, partner, of the social side of the city of activists, but will organize elections uh um, open like wide open horizontal elections uh, in order the inhabitants will decide who are going to be their representatives so it was first case um like that in in, in poland and 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 when we have organized uh, because of the covid uh online elections with the fantastic uh, online tools so uh, we have had immediately the results and uh, really there were um, several thousands of voters taking the part in that elections and um, this uh, civic advisory um, um, will have a, a one year of its existence in december uh, this year and um, i would say that this is uh, of course very challenging for the municipality and not easy uh, in many cases but uh, it it, it's it's really a very vibrant way in which you you have this kind of a, another body which which is close to to the decision making process and can support by knowing the needs of the cultural sector itself maybe better in some aspects than uh, the policymakers from the city and, and, and could just move forward a lot of a lot of recommendations. Uh, so and this case was was uh, also um, uh, promoted and uh, had a special mention by the UCLG Mexico City Culture uh, Agenda 21 for Culture uh, Mexico Award um, in 2020. Um, so it's 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 one of the learning and best practices cases uh, that will be uploaded very soon on the on the UCLG um, um, the peer learning um, uh, website and the another example from 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 the city of Roswell which is which is very important and and very important to our debate is that one year after the ECOC in 2017 uh, it was also one of the recommendation that the city needs to invest in the um, neighborhood councils because for many years they were neglected there are 48 in the city so a huge power you might say but without the funds and with people uh, that they were there inside quite passive and not really implementing a, a very modernized way of thinking they were not um, efficient enough and uh, really not attracting newcomers to, to that. So in 2017, city organized a first very big promoted elections and several, let's say those newcomers with great ideas, great incentives, with great insights came on stage and were really changing uh, the image of the city. Now I'm showing you the, the results of the elections that took place on the 17th of October, so not even, I mean, like, like uh, uh, what, uh, 13 days ago. Uh, and these were the elections um, for another four years. And uh, you might see uh, the, the, the data below. So uh, over um, uh, 430,000 uh, uh, four, four, 430, inhabitants were eligible to vote and 27,000 voted. So for, for a very local, local elections in the city, uh, this turnout was almost the same as after ECOC when this huge promotion was, was there. So 6% might not be uh, seeming as, as a great number, but uh, but taking into account that 1,188 candidates applied. Uh, so it, it, it also shows that uh, this became a very important aspect in the city policy, uh, not only to be in the, in the city council, uh, which has a, a, a very small number of seats, but to be in, in those very local councils uh, sometimes even more important because they are dealing with the real time and very crucial local problems, local challenges, which are not well seen from the level of the city council. 
So um, the seats were 786. And of course, uh, um, now the, the, the new local council are establishing itself and will we'll proceed in a, in, a, in, in a good way. But um, this is leading us to one of my last examples. Uh, but quite crucial uh, to the city of Wrocław, and I would say very, very, very similar to the examples I was showing you before from the rural communities. So let's imagine that we have um, the rural community. I was showing you the one which has got like 12,000 inhabitants, 24 uh, villages, 24 village uh, councils, uh, and 24 village assembly halls. And when they create a network, they could be strong, they could um, support one another, they could be changing the image of the community, of, of, of course. And now let's, 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 let's move with our imagination to the, um, let's say example B, which is the city of Wrocław, 700,000 inhabitants. So the scale is, 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 is completely, completely incomparable. It's, it's, a, it's not a huge city, but it's a big city, let's say. And uh, we, uh, till the ECOC in 2016, uh, we have had uh, none of those policies, meaning uh, city council was, 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 let's say, the strongest and there was no other really important powers in the city. There were several cultural institutions, but mostly, uh, let's say, centralized, meaning located in the in the either heritage part of the city or very close to 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 to, to, to the main uh, main circle of 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 of, of, of the center. And um, and locally, ah. Some, some were something, uh, some NGOs, but maybe not so strong, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what was happening in, from and since 2017 and this decentralization was that um, at the same time, the city was investing in, in creation of centers of local initiative. Um, and you might see on that map, that uh, till now, because because I, I made the um, just yesterday the the the, the I, I saved the the the, 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 the GPEG. Um, this network is growing, and now we have like twenty four centers, which are completely peripheral, uh, and they are um, uh, supporting um, this decentralized model. Mm, where culture is very much present, but also a social culture, but also amateur arts, but also local gatherings, uh, all kinds of uh, activities. But what's the difference between the cultural center and the center of local initiatives? In this uh, CAL, as we call it in, 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 in Poland, in Wrocław, uh, the programming is made purely uh, by the inhabitants with their support, with their, um, let's say, uh, advisory, with their desires, needs, uh, so in, in full dialogue. So there is no, not a situation, the, the situation does not apply to that, in which uh, there is like a cultural center, which has like a list of concerts and you can just attend or not. Uh, Etc. Uh, this is this is just provided for you as a as a something fixed. So in in, in that cases, and these are uh, the, the the photos from 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 the inside from 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 those proceedings. Uh, the 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 similarities between the photos I was showing you and this photo and those photos are obvious <laughs> completely. But um, at the same time, it's it's it's. I mean, no wonder because. We need the same things, basically, as, as humans. We need this kind of a space with a bit of a, a free um, way, with a bit of a freedom, with a bit of a interaction, uh, and to, 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 to organize various activities. 
but always to, to be together. Uh, and this, the, the culture to me also means togetherness, apart from all the very important definitions um, of culture. Uh, this togetherness cannot be also substituted by any anything uh, because it's it's also uh, not related to any competition. Uh, I mean, I love sport, but sport in many cases is about the competition and the culture. Done on this level, it's it's about well-being. It's about being together, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, coming to um, I, I will not read this whole long text, but coming to the, to, to the basics um, of uh, of that um, uh, fundaments of those centers of local initiatives. Uh, so exactly, uh, we are writing the strategic documents that those local centers are creating conditions for the development of civil society, neighborhood communities, informal groups, initiatives. Uh, that have a significant impact on the quality of life of the residents of Wrocław. And this is quite, quite let's say, understandable and might apply to, to, to everybody. And also uh, this bold text is that the, 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 the local uh, activity center is not only a building, it's a specific, specific approach to, uh, to working with the local community. However, and, 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 we, and, we, and we show that, that uh, um, the essential element is to be having uh, still um, those, um, uh, those, uh, those spaces uh, because they, 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 they are quite really necessary uh, to um, then uh, implement all those activities that, that we, we, we are uh, talking about. So um, one another aspect is a local partnership. So they are not somewhere in the cloud, but they have those linkages um, between um, uh, other key actors locally um, located, like NGOs, it's like cultural uh, um, institutions, uh, but also um, any social, uh, let's say, aids or um, um, any kind of um, public services like uh, police, city guards, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, in order to create you know, this kind of cohesive uh, organism, and in my opinion, in, in order also to create a bit of like uh, a, a small village communities inside the city. Because uh, in, in, in many cases, apart from being one organism and we call them ourselves Wrocław or, or other place or Milan or, or any other city, uh, the, 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 the life uh, of our daily proceedings in many cases is related to very, let's say, uh, a narrow radius. Uh, or we go to a city center, but then we, then we come back and in many cases, we use uh, services that they are locally there. And this uh, does not vary from the village community in many cases that we are still, I mean, with, uh, within this bigger organism in the city, but still within those smaller, uh, let's say, organisms. So, so those similarities that for me were very, very inspiring when I... Um, jump from those 10 years experiences in the village community to the municipality of Wrocław, which was in the transition exactly towards that direction, uh, was something very, very, uh, uh, very promising that um, the, the know-how uh, gained in the village community could be extremely useful uh, for, 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 um, for, for the urban scale. And here you can, you can see some kind of a nice graphics that uh, this network, because we already have this network um, um, provides. So, so those cultural centers uh, here on the left, we, we have uh, in translation to English, like we inform about the local uh, events. Uh, we on, um, on the upper one uh, on the right, we take care of our local environment, uh, 
with, with, with pleasure. On the left uh, bottom, uh, we support uh, neighborhood uh, um, and civic initiatives. And on the right bottom, uh, we support um, citizens in their problems, challenges, and their cases. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's shaped like that. And uh, um, one, more, one more slide on that is that uh, the key values are uh, solidarity and openness to diversity. So those local centers um, must be rooted locally. And, and, and uh, it's, it's very much related to Ray Oldenburg and I'm sorry, his theory of the third place, meaning it's not home, it's not work, but it's really the uh, social space that we, need in where we also fulfill our desires, expectations, uh, we interact with, 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 with people. And uh, just those, those, uh, those pinpoints. Uh, so the, the main elements of working with local community is strengthening inter, inter, interpersonal relationship, joint action, strengthening the potential and activities of residents, taking responsibility by residents and their groups, building and animating local partnerships and building local identity and counteracting uh, social exclusion. This is also uh, something we have been um, discussing a bit today that um, social exclusion uh, uh, versus networking, which provides this connectivity, um, it's something very important, but at the same time, the social exclusion uh, which might happen and is happening by uh, several aspects. Uh, I mean, for 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 people with uh, with disabilities, um, for for other groups which are marginalized or are threatened by marginalization, it's so important to create those spaces which are not a cultural institution or art institutions that they provide a programming, which are not only. Uh, the, 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 the social aid uh, centers or any other uh, social care uh, centers, but to have those centers of local initiatives and local activities, I were the one could really be spreading their wings and, and, and flying a bit virtually um, uh, locally in, 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 in their context. So uh, also to mention is, that in, in, those, in those places, you see those, those, um, those beautiful youngsters here on the, on the photos, um, that, so, so there are various of activities, but not only there is any tutor who will or would teach anything to the others in the format of, I am transferring my expert knowledge to you, the, 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 let's say my auditorium, but in, in many of those centers of local initiatives, the local inhabitants, they have their own skills, hobbies and uh, competences. So they are becoming also tutors, uh, uh, leaders of workshops, presentations, uh, any kind of uh, events, uh, they, 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 they themselves uh, organize uh, activities. So in, 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 in those slides, you also see like, um, I don't know, uh, workshop dedicated to, 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 to uh, planting some, some flowers, mm, workshops uh, dedicated to, to, to fine arts and um, uh, to amateur arts. So all categories that might be imagined, we might be fitting into, into that format, because this is like an open format. And, and, and this is what, 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 what really makes a difference uh, between th something that it's completely planned and completely organized versus something that uh, can be quite, quite, um, uh, can start with a quite of a question mark uh, oh, what will we do? Oh, what will happen? Oh, what will happen next month? Huh? We don't know. But this, uh, uh, let's say, approach of not being able to know everything, uh, I mean, creates a very interesting uh, uh, process. Uh, 
in which, yes, we might be uh, fully and fantastically surprised. And uh, just last to, to, to say to that, Mm, is that when we when we start when we initiate such process uh, in, 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 in few years time uh, for sure we'll be having uh, a very positive uh, social impact on on that so um, uh, this, this, this is also one of the, the messages <laughs> that I um, would encourage um, anybody who would who would think ah this is too adventurous, too challenging. I don't need to, I don't want to, I don't know how to, to make you know, such um, open space cultural center slash uh, local initiative centers. It, you might always, uh, I don't know, contact us and, um, and, and ask for, for, for pros and cons, for shines and shades, uh, because we, 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 we've been there, we are there. And this will continue, and this is very much spreading. Uh, our mayor uh, of, of Wrocław, uh, he was before the director of the um, social department of the municipality. So this is one of his core initiatives uh, to create those social um, uh, activities and local activity centers. Uh, so, so that policy is, is, is very much improved also on, on, on that level. So we do not need to, uh, let's say, um, translate, explain, and ask for something. Uh, contrary, um, there, there, there is a need to, to, to be developing this topic. And I wanted to, because this is a format of a workshop, so I was thinking of, of, of asking, um, even in, in, in that uh, fantastic uh, small group of ours, um, like three questions um, to, to, to have a, a, a bit of a, a response and the feedback. I would, I would love to hear uh, uh, your, 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 your thoughts on that. Like three questions, like your desired model on territorial development based on culture, what should it contain and, and how should it be built? Um, because this is always a discussion in all the, the formats uh, of, 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 of conferences, there one example is coming and people are inspired, but then they are saying, ah, but this cannot be like uh, taken, captured and just implemented in our case, uh, because we have a very different local specificity. There are different um, contexts and some elements vary from one to another. So we need always to have those tailor-made uh, solutions. So, but if if uh, from from your experience and and from let's say your um, your 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 localities and your uh, uh, organizations' uh, point of view, uh, if, if 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 such three questions, which are interconnected, uh, are here on, on on the presentation, how would you react? And what maybe? Could could be added from 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 your side. What what should we focus on when when we are willing to to create some kind of uh, decentralized territorial development models? Uh, uh, okay, yes? I, okay, I can. Okay, I would like to say something, but we have some uh, constructions here in building. Do you hear me well? <laughs> Under construction. Yes, okay. yes, we know that in in our sector also <laughs> okay i will just say that uh, here in novi sad in my city uh, there is something similar let's say but it has just started we also have heard we maybe wanted to say something later because i don't know because of these noises um it was uh, i wanted to say we had the uh, yesterday one presentation about the cultural stations in Novi Sad okay. uh, city. It, the point is the same to make uh, decentralize the culture near the city and the villages near the city. And uh, the, the good uh, point of that for me, the first is uh, they also reconstructed the old places to be cultural stations. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and they involve local people, of course, uh, in cultural participation in it. So, as I said, it uh, has uh, it has started with uh, this uh, European capital of culture. It's going to be like the legacy of it after. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, Violetta from Europe or Capital said we have about, uh, not to say the wrong number, but between 10 and 20 cultural stations at this moment. For example, the part of Novi Sad where I am uh, living, mm -hmm. uh, it hasn't still, but I know there is a plan to make one building for cultural participation. So it would be very nice from my point, not only like a cultural worker, but mm -hmm. like a family person, yes, for my children and me to go near, not, mm -hmm. not to have to go always to the center city or somewhere far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is my point of view for the Novisat city. Okay. So, 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 so to comment on that, I mean, uh... It's, it's essential in, in, in your position to be investing in the local infrastructure uh, yes. for, for culture a lot uh, in, in order to, to, to have it approachable uh, a, 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 as we sometimes make jokes that in, in, in our sleepers we can go outside yes. Uh, yes. And, and experience and experience culture, not necessarily to have this distance which, which yes. sometimes yes. is a, a wall um, and 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 yeah, we have we of have course. a lot of problems. When, with that. We, when we need to use the car, it's always more complicated. <laughs> it's like a whole journey uh, yes. already. Yes. And, um, yes. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So 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 that that point. Uh, thank you very much. Any any other maybe comments on on on, on that? If if I may, uh, Clarice. Uh, yes, I don't I don't know where everybody. Else. I'm in I'm in Milan, but I had to go to the doctor this morning, so it was very convenient for me to have an online. Seminar, but, oh, super. Yeah, Milan is full Welcome. of all sorts of things. And I think one of the best, uh, the best aspects is when there is this kind of reality where an old abandoned structure is overtaken and redone. I'll mm -hmm. think of something like uh, La Fabrica del Vapore. There was a famous steam uh, sort of big factory complex that was completely taken over. It's become an enormous cultural center, a contemporary music hub, art mm -hmm. galleries. There are also blockbuster shows and things there, but it, it's something that has become very important and it's, it's in a very uh, vital part of the city, an ethnic enclave with, with our Chinatown. And it's very close to that too. That's one mm -hmm. big example. Um, and other, other ones too, uh, uh, go more to an outdoor situation. I live in an area, um, it kind of, a, it's a neighborhood called Barona and it's sort of like has its, it's really, it's really the fringe and it does have its own particular history. But um, the street that I live in was uh, taken over by architects and sold as commercial property. And we took our risks and bought it and also have formed a, a, a committee called Comitato Ponti that has taken over some of these abandoned areas and turned them into community gardens and things. So things like this I think are very are very important so even something like a park bench can be a community center if you just see people kind of spontaneously going there so of course of course thank you for thank you for that voice and uh, I, I, I've seen a, um, a presentation from uh, from Brazil and uh, a few years ago uh, and uh, there uh, the person was showing uh, cultural centers on the bridges let's say uh the the, the bridge is not not really in use i, I mean the the rivers were, were let's say they dried for example and they, they have been putting some kind of a tents on on, yeah. on those bridges so immediately they had a floor let's say and those tents were forming a kind of a roof and 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 and, and really they were um providing uh um uh, workshops musical presentations every every everything so so this 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 content like like uh, um full cultural and artistic content was on on the bridge i i would never expect this to to, to happen mm -hmm. before but but it's it's it, it's it's a fact and also those bus stops which i was showing they were also a, a, a small let's say pinpoints for 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 cultural activities afterwards not only for 
those, let's say, bad habits of, I don't know, drinking and leaving bottles on, 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 the, on the bus stops, which is happening mm-hmm. a lot in our country, but, but also for some kind of a, like a, like a small stage, like a, a, a kind of a, I don't know, a, a something already there, which on, from which we can jump to, to something very, 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 um, very new. Um, so uh, yes, exactly. The, 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 those debates about space all the time are happening. If if the culture center or cultural organization needs a space, or it's it's more about people who might be organizing themselves elsewhere, um, it's it's also very 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 interesting. And my my my, my second question would be then um, from from uh, where from to start? Meaning like if we would like to create some kind of those models which then will be lasting for, for a longer time. How should we um, communicate that uh, and, 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 and cooperate with, with the locality in your point of view in order to really, uh, to not, this is a word satisfied, but in order to, to fit to, to the needs of the locality, how, how would we, and how maybe you are doing that in your cultural uh, proceedings that, those projects are not, uh, let's say, when we when we take a shot and and, and, and and this is not like very somewhere else than than the goal is than the ten, but this is really close to the ten. Uh, when, when when we when, when, do you do you do you have any any um, suggestions on that? I, I don't know. The only I think that it has to spring from some kind of need, and then uh-huh. based on that, what your um what you have what your options are what you have at hand I mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so of... yeah so 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 to i yes to identify those those options i i believe that this is kind of kind of crucial to to happen because in in, in so many scenarios and then and, and we have seen that in, in poland oh my god like meaning that the, the the municipalities were creating swimming pools in the very small communities because uh they were able to fundraise some some money, and then they didn't have any idea how to continue with that. And this was not any need of, of the locality. They never consulted that, and uh, it, it was just uh, money in vain and, 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 and the effort in vain. Uh, while the community was 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 needing something completely completely different. Uh, I will I will um, I will show you now. Um, uh, I will show you now uh, something that uh, I mean it's obvious, of course, uh, there to, to to lead of, of Brenda Brown. But uh, two days ago, I had a very interesting uh, workshop um, led by a person from from Krakowie who who is uh, um, a, let's say a tutor in design thinking. And uh, why I was showing this cooperative from Warsaw, now it's, it's clear because in Wrocław there is a need to create this kind of a cooperative um, um, to, to, to share those, those cultural resources, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but it cannot be done from, from the level of the desk of the municipality that we know better. Uh, and it cannot be done uh, on the other hand, only by the local activists because they might not know all the uh, legal frameworks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so uh, we have been having a, 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 a very interesting, um, not only discussion but workshops. And um, one, one, one of the uh, one of the exercises that uh, Brenna Brown is, is proposing for uh, anybody starting with design thinking is to, uh, to, 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 to take a, a sheet of paper. If we would meet in uh, Milan, I would, I would most probably provide this uh, exercise to, to, to take a sheet of paper and to design your desired wallet. Yes, I mean, wallet. Uh, and, and we don't ask questions, we just, just do it. And, and then there is a round of responses and, and, and then people are saying, like, oh, my desire wallet is about that and it's about that. And, 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 and this exercise is done uh, only in that purpose to understand what design thinking is not. Meaning uh, <laughs> that design thinking is not designing something for others by yourself, but you have to know uh, really your group 
by learning about their needs, potentials, etc., and then you design it collectively something. So the desired wallet is only yours and you cannot give it to somebody and say, oh, you should like it or, or you should love it or whatever, because th that's, not the, that's not the point. And we have been making some metaphors uh, on the presents that we give, for example, on Christmas. And in many cases, we give presents that we would like to receive ourselves to the others. And we really never or rarely we dig into the needs of, of some people. And, um, and then the result is that there are so many unnecessary, unwanted, unneeded, non-practical presents. So um, the, the design thinking um, here gives a solution uh, in order to, uh, to check with your peers, to check with your with your partners to check with the group that you are mm, working with on each stage if they are satisfied with anything you have by yourself or collectively uh, uh, let's say invented as a as a solution if it's really uh, going to work if it's really their uh, needs and if it really fits their expectations so uh, the the, the let's say essential word for design, design thinking is empathy. Um, this is what we have been discussing uh, exactly on that workshop two days ago. So, so this empathy uh, is um, essential. Uh, why? Because we need to be uh, finding ourselves in the position of the other person and not with our egocentric uh, position of creating any anything to as I mentioned to, to the group. So um, the self-trust, curiosity, value, safety, all that is, is very important, but this empathy is, 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 is quite, quite uh, fundamental. Why I'm saying all that and, and, and sharing um, uh, there to lead here, because I believe that um, in any case, would like to create as in the, this, this, first question that I, I mentioned, how to, how art can take part in, in create uh, those more resilient, self-sufficient, etc. I mean, it can only happen, in my opinion, when we would really focus on each other with this empathy, and we would provide those kind of solutions and those kind of uh, art interventions and, and that they are really uh, coming into uh, and, 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 and they are really fitting with, 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 with what the community would, would like to have and would not be contra their expectations, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so in, in other words, uh, saying those tailor-made uh, solutions for decentralized models, in my opinion, might uh, you know, might be working only um, at, at, at from 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 that point, and uh, one of the one of the last because I was saying that this was was pre last and it's one of the last uh, last last examples I wanted to um, to 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 share uh, with you uh, comes from the. Um, publication that was uh, launched uh, also in 2020, uh, which is called Arts in Rural Areas by ITM Network. And uh, I was very pleased to be one of the co-authors of, of that, but this co-authorship was, mm, was something different than the normally, let's say, writing on the topic, but we have had gathered um, or, or ITM gathered 147 um, examples from all over the world of uh, um, best practices on how arts and culture is supporting um, community building, audience development, uh, also territorial development. And uh, many of them were coming from, from the places where culture, arts, and, 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 and civic participation is at stake, um, where uh, society is really challenged a lot. Um, and also geographical circumstances, like for example, in Nepal, where there, where there is a film festival very high in the mountains, 
the geographical challenges are so huge that uh, the film makers and the film producers, they need to carry in their backpacks all the equipment very somewhere above um, the sea level, very high, in, in order to create some kind of uh, gatherings on the film festival in the in the small villages, but also the others are coming there. So, so um, it's it's it, it 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 it's not so easy to to approach, and it it, it demands it demands energy, time, and it demands uh, this 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 huge willingness. But the results are just um, tremendous, and uh, I wanted to show you. Um, uh, that one of my, um, my, my, my beloved examples from Domingo Valle de Mondego from, uh, from Portugal, from, from the, the village that is famous um, for their local cuisine and slow food and uh, all the activities that they are um, provided um, um, based on, 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 on those uh, local entrepreneurship um, um, and, and local heritage. Uh, all those workshops, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and uh, they have created this kind of uh, uh, it's like a orangerie, like a bit of a cage, uh, like from the gardens uh, of, of the um, 18th, 19th century, the the the, the, um, the English gardens, and uh, we, we don't know what's what's that. We, on this first photo, it's like uh, ah, it's somewhere there, it's something. Um, stays, uh, maybe it's for planting anything, etc. But on the on the night photo, uh, we see what's the purpose of that. We see that this uh, this iglo, this 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 this, this small chapel, uh, but the transparent one uh, uh, serves as a as a perfect as a just perfect um, uh, gathering space as as a perfect agora. Um, like in the ancient times uh, for the locality and also they are inviting uh, tourists and and people from from other villages in order to 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 have those round not tables but but round sittings uh, at the place uh, for um, um, presenting culture that's for sure and arts that's for sure but also for um, for, for having this 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 um, as mentioned before those gatherings those uh, those um, those situations uh, in which they are able to to, to create merge uh, uh, some synergies values by discussion so uh, um, so this this to me also uh, is like a bit of a motto of um, Territorial development and uh, community arts, and then all of the previous discussions we had, to be finding always uh, a, a space in which we 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 have a real time possibility to consult, to 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 discuss, and to and to really um, um, and, and 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 to really be. Um, moving forward but as a as a community not from the position not not the evolutionist anthropology done from 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 the desk and and to describe culture somewhere from beyond etc uh, but to be really uh, in full participation and to create as participative as possible uh, local processes that are going to give us only a uh, very truthful uh, and, and, and on original answers to a lot of um, questions that we have. And only by that, I believe that we would be able to, to create those tailor-made um, solutions. So um, that's a bit of my um, conclusion for, uh, for, for, for the presentation. Uh, and um, uh, I, I would I would really like to to to, to hear any of, of 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 your comments, remarks, or or questions, um, uh, because uh, it's 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 so bad that I was only speaking. Huh? But in this digital format, it's sometimes uh, not not easy uh, to 
to create like a real time uh, workshops on, on, on something. That's why I, I proposed um, uh, some some of the slides in order to uh, by visuals to to to, to support uh, um, a lot of uh, the, 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 let's say uh, uh, words that I wanted to to to, to share today. So, are there any? Um, I just so would many. like to thank you, Piotr. It was very inspiring, all these <laughs> uh, practices and examples and everything. I would just like to ask you to leave us somehow in chat, maybe some links, as you said, of these PDFs. Yes, you said. Of course, of or, course. I will yes. now, after, after, after now, uh, we, we, let's say, conclude a bit this, this presentation part, I will because I have them ready, I will uh, include them into the chat box in okay. order, in order for, 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 for all of you to, um, to, to, to have them with you for, yes. for later yes. time. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, Damon? Yeah, no, I was gonna thank you as well. And definitely if you put some of the links in, we'll be able to send this recording to people from, from across San Mateo and we will, we will include the links so that that uh, is available to everybody. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just say thank you as well because it's all uh, very interesting and really relevant to the work. Uh, I work for an organization in, in Ireland uh, called Creative mm -hmm. Lives. So we are a member of Amateo. And, okay. you know, two of my big projects, one is an Erasmus project, a partnership with other countries. And we're looking at um, the social benefits of cultural activities. So a lot of the mm -hmm. topics that you were talking about earlier. And the other big project I'm just starting is a three-year project in a kind of a rural town. Uh, that it does not have much infrastructure, it does not have a lot of cultural engagement, there, is, there isn't a space, you know, uh, Milka talked, you know, yesterday in the conference we heard about these cultural stations in Novi Sad, but also in Slovenia, where they have this history of uh, after the Second World War with these uh, community kind of cooperation centers, uh, and we don't, mm -hmm. we don't have a history of that kind of infrastructure in Ireland. Uh, and the things that we used to have are mostly gone. So there's a real lack of these kind of spaces for community and uh, activity. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a real challenge, but this is something we're going to be working on for the next while in my organization. Uh, so I'm sure there's probably ways that we might link uh, with you and your work again in the future. Of course. Uh, and as you said, there's so many overlaps with Amateo, uh, the work that we're doing around Europe. Uh, this is, uh, you know, going to be a big issue. You talked a bit about the changes after the pandemic, uh, the way mm -hmm. people are maybe moving to different locations to live and work. There's going to be some very big changes in how people live in the future that we are only starting to see the beginning of now. But in 10 or 20 years, we will look back and we will recognize these big shifts of how we live. Uh, but I think it's it's mm -hmm. good that we're thinking about it now and thinking about the power of, you know, people coming together in in rural communities, in peripheries, in cities, wherever it is. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's something that's important for any place and any community. Uh, we just need to understand how to how to enable that and also to make it uh, sustainable, which is one of the things we talked about yesterday in the conference. You can, mm -hmm. you can implement a project, but you need to have something that will last. And, and often that is if it's owned and managed by the community themselves, then it will continue more, uh, more easily. <laughs> Completely. I mean, th th thank you very much for for uh, for sharing uh, that that um, uh, yeah, the information and for your feedback. And then and, and just just came to my mind another metaphor that as cosmos, I mean, above us, it's already full of those those uh, how we call them like cosmo trash or something. But I I'm afraid that also we have a bit polluted by overproduction of projects that they were then left alone, gone, but they are somewhere, but, but, but nobody can approach them anymore. They're like miscontinued. But we have a bit polluted the, 
and the, the, I don't know, the, 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 not, uh, polluted is not a good word. It, we have a bit, you know, overproduced a lot and not provided a sustainability, as you, as you said. So we are then overproducing another, another ones. And maybe the solution would be to, uh, to keep the projects ongoing, not for one year or two, but to have them for much longer periods and to focus on less projects, but for more sustainable ones in order then to uh, invite new people to that framework and to, to change it, to reshape it as, I don't know, the, um, the cultural uh, or arts in, uh, institutions or art groups, they are, let's say, they, they were formed some years ago and, and then they continued, but were a bit changing, etc. So it, it, it was a dynamic process. But in our case, in projects, this time frame in many cases is so strict and um, and then we just move to another ones because this is a natural we fundraise we have to keep going with our organizations but in the in the longer uh, run and we see it now um, uh, there, there were so many super valuable projects that were forgotten and 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 then we we are reinventing something which was already either set or are they, are they created so also we, we are sometimes forgetting uh, uh, the, 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 the fantastic innovation that was made already. So this is why also there is a group of ECOCs, uh, um, the ECOC like alumni groups uh, that is willing to learn from the experiences of one European capital of culture to another in, in order to uh, not this knowledge not to be evaporated in, 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 in that sense, you know, because uh, we, we, we are having some, some great, uh, in many places, some, 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 some just great innovations, great tools, great uh, social ideas. And when, then uh, the, 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 this is a problematic. And one more uh, comment to, to what you have mentioned, those premises. And this is all, 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 always a debate I had in the ENCC, also in the board and between other countries. Because in Poland, we have this heritage of a local um, cultural centers that are publicly funded. This is a, a heritage that was coming from before. Uh, I mean, it has got a history of 120 years, I think, and more or less. Uh, and then during the, 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 the socialistic period, uh, we have continued this, this model. And uh, after that, this model uh, was also continued. So in many cases, in, in, in more than 2,500 communities in Poland, you might find a local cultural center, which is publicly funded. And it's there, let's say, ready to organize local activities initiatives. When I was speaking with my colleagues from other countries, uh, especially Western Europe, not, none of that is happening. I mean, there are NGOs that they are all the time in need to fundraise money in order to organize even a village assembly hall in Denmark or in Germany or in other countries. Uh, so there is none of not that there are no similarities on that. But in many cases, there are pros and cons here and there. Um, for us, the, the con is that. Uh, some cultural centers or even a lot of them they might be quite passive uh, and there are no qualitative criteria to evaluate their work only uh, quantitative so uh, on the quantitative level everything is fantastic but on the qualitative level not really but okay they are like gradually year by year just you know receiving you no know, donations from the from the public funds and they do some activities. And uh, the only, in my opinion, solution for that is to be creating a, a, a real time, which we don't have, a network of cultural centers in, in, in Poland in order to, to boost uh, gradually those who did not want till now, I don't know, to, 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 uh, to, to make a, 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 a progress. And when I was in, uh, this, this is one of my beloved examples, when I was in, in Scotland for one month in uh, uh, Glasgow and other cities, um, I was making a job shadowing uh, of a person, um, uh, Jane Bentley, I'm, I'm greeting her um, very much. Uh, she's a musical, a PhD, she's a musical, a 
teacher, but not in the sense to go to the school and teach, but she's, let's say, encouraging people to, 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 to make music. And especially she's uh, working with uh, uh, groups with disadvantages or threatened by marginalization. Uh, um, kids um, with, uh, um, uh, 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 with, with, with some, uh, I mean, like kids with autism, for example, uh, people in prisons, uh, um, elderly people in retirement homes, threatened by Alzheimer or having Alzheimer, uh, in kids in the hospital in, 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 in poor health conditions, et cetera, et cetera. And I was with her in, in all those groups. And I was also in the one um, group, uh, um, uh, like a well-being after mental health issues problem uh, in Paisley. And uh, we were meeting in the former church and the roof was leaking there. And uh, the situation was that uh, they, they were putting some kind of uh, vases, uh, bowls, uh, in order that that water would, 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 would just, just find its place there inside the bowl, not on the floor. And, uh, and I was so inspired because they were also paying themselves, not, not paying, they were creating like a small budget for, 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 for I don't know, coffee, cookies, etc. And having that and making like a, a drumming workshops with boom whackers, etc. And I was making uh, photos of, of, of that, of that bowls with water. And they were asking me, what are you doing? Like, like, wh what, why those photos are important to you? And I said to them that they are crucial to me because what you do on the artistic level is fantastic. But when I will come back to Poland, I will show those photos to my local, uh, many times uh, complaining local animators or leaders who are having almost everything and uh, heated uh, village assembly halls with the fantastic conditions, but empty. They do not provide any activities and you uh, are trespassing all the challenges because you want to do that, because you want to continue, because there are no really circumstances that will stop you from doing that. And they said, oh, you're right, we didn't think of that. And I said, yes, and I will have to distribute those photos because they also didn't think of that, that there are people doing such while here in, 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 in many cases, in many places in Poland, uh, none of this was, was happening. So um, um, thank you for, 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 for that comment. It's, 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 it, it, it's really um, important. And I'm crossing my fingers for Amateo and, and, and your activities also in order to, um, to always find the, 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 good, uh, the good solutions uh, for, for any local, uh, let's say, um, Yes, uh, challenges. Mm -hmm.